Peace be upon you. This is Mrs. Abir Ahmed, English teacher and supervisor, and this is Connect Primary 5, Unit 9, My Favorite Animal. Lesson 1, Wildlife. Let's play a game. I give you a description of an animal and you guess what it is. Number 1, I live in the garden. I have a shell. I don't have legs or arms. What's this? Snail. Number two, I live in Australia. I jump on two legs. Kangaroo. Number three, I fly at night. I sleep upside down on trees. A bat. Number four, I live on ice and snow. I'm black and white. I can't swim, but I can't fly. This is a penguin. Number five, I'm a bird. I'm very beautiful and colorful. I live in the rainforest. This is a parrot. Number six, I live in Africa. I'm a very big cat. I'm very strong. This is a lion. Number seven, I'm very friendly. I swim in a group with my family in the ocean. This is a dolphin. Number eight, I live in China. I eat bamboo. I'm big. I'm black and white. This is a panda. And these are the pictures. Remember the names of the animals? Number one, this is a snail. Number two, kangaroo. Number three, that's a bat. Number four, that's a penguin. Number five, that's a parrot. Number six is a lion. Number seven, that's a dolphin. And number eight is a panda. Complete the next dialogue from the words in the box. But penguins do wonderful about pouch, parrots, birds, wildlife, where bats did. Between Ramiz and Ayman. I had a space day out yesterday with my family. I had a wonderful day out. Ayman said, Space, did you go? Where did you go? We went to the new space park. It was awesome. The new wildlife park. What space you see? What did you see? Could you go near the lions? No, we stayed in the car. We saw them through the trees. The kangaroos were interesting. They are little, they can... When they are little, they can sit inside their mom's pouch. What space did you see? What else did you see? شفت ايه كمان؟ هنا عندي تكوين السؤال كامل يبقى الكلمة اللي دخيلة علينا هي كلمة else. What else did you see? Lots of birds. My favorite were the space. They are colorful. Parrots. What space animals like uh, that like the cold? What about animals that like the cold? There was a special cold place for space. They can swim so well. Penguins. Was there anything you wanted to see? Space couldn't. But couldn't. في أي حاجة كان نفسك تشوفها لكن ما قدرتش. Yes, I couldn't see the space because they were all hiding in the dark. I couldn't see the bats. Listen to. What could you do? To talk about ability in the present, we use can or can't plus verb infinitive. I can run fast, but I can't fly. To talk about ability in the past, we use could or couldn't plus verb infinitive. I could walk when I was one, but I couldn't speak. To make a yes or no question, start with can or couldn't. Can you speak Chinese? Yes, I can or no, I can't. Could you ride a bike when you were three? Yes, I could or no, I couldn't. Choose the correct answer. Could, can or couldn't you swim? Yes, I can. Gawib bi kan. Yibak li gawib akid. 
Can you swim? Yes, I can. What can, could, or can't you do when you were seven? ده كده في الباست يبقى نختار could. Could you speak French when you were little? No, I. بادئ ب could يبقى أنا هجاوب ب couldn't. عشان كمان عندي no هختار couldn't. The travelers and the tree. Once there was a very big tree, a very big old tree in a hot, dry land. Its trunk. ركزوا معايا في الكلمات المعمولة بالbold عشان نشوف الصور بتاعتها. Its trunk was very wide and it had many green branches. It gave shelter and rest to hundreds of travelers. It was a meeting point for traders. One day. Two travelers were walking across the field and saw the tree. One of them said, Let's stop under the tree where there is some shade. That's a great idea, said his friend. They rested under the tree and enjoyed the breeze. They were exhausted, so they fell asleep. They woke up hungry, but neither of them had any food in their bags. One of them said, There are no nuts or fruit on the branches of the tree. It's useless. The tree heard him and was very angry. How can you be so ungrateful? Said the tree. You came to me feeling hot and tired. I gave you a cool, comfortable place to sleep. And I probably saved your life as there is no other trees here in the area. The travelers looked around them and saw the tree was correct and felt very sorry. Now, do you remember these words? Number one, this is a trunk. Number two, this is a branch. Number three, this is a shelter. Number four, someone who travels a lot is a traveler. Number five, This is a meeting point. الناس بيتقابلوا فيها. Meeting point أو في المكان ده. Number six. Those are traders. تجار. Traders. Number seven. Walk across. Across. Number eight. This is a tree. Number nine. This is breeze. هوا خفيف. نسمة هوا خفيفة. Breeze. Number ten. That man is exhausted. Exhausted. Number eleven. This is useless. Useless. حاجة ملهاش استخدام. Useless. And number twelve. This boy is ungrateful. Ungrateful. Number thirteen. This is comfortable. Comfortable. Lesson three. This is so interesting. A suffix is a group of letters added to the end of a word to change the meaning. Word plus er equal the person. Like, add er to the next words to turn them into nouns. My grandfather was a great travel? No, traveler. He traveled to many places around the world. Muhammad al-Ninni is a famous Egyptian football or footballer. Footballer. Number three, my favorite teach or teacher is Miss Salwa. She is very friendly and kind. Number four, my cousin is a very good read. No, reader. He reads a lot of books. Number five, that's a good climb. No, climber. Climber. He can climb high mountains. We can add ed or ing to a verb to make an adjective. Ed describes how I feel about something like bored, interested, amazed, annoyed, tired, surprised. I was bored. يبقى دي بتوصفني أنا بتوصف إحساسي أنا. لكن لما أضيف ing it describes what something is like. Like boring, interesting, amazing, annoying, tiring, surprising. The movie was boring. وصفت الموفي نفسه بإنه هو كان boring. Complete the following sentences using the right adjective. I am 
space in history. It is so space. وعندي كلمة interest. I am interested in history. It's so interesting. I was space when I saw the space party they have made. وعايز استخدم كلمة amaze. I was amazed when I saw the amazing party they have made. Number three. This work is so space. I am really space now. The word is tire. This work, بوصف الورك نفسي يبقى هقول tiring. اللي بعديها بوصف نفسي بوصف حالتي بوصف شعوري يبقى I'm really tired now. Number four. That fly is so space. The baby is so much space. The word is annoy. That fly is so annoying. The baby is so much annoyed. Pronunciation. W says w, w, like wet, west, wheel, watermelon. V says v, like vet, vest, volcano, violin. Listen four and five. Write in and project. To write an email. Begin your email with dear or hi and the person's name. Say why you are writing. Use phrases like I'm writing to tell you that. Give one idea and expand on it. When writing to a friend, you can use informal language. Words such as cool, awesome can be added or used. Also use phrases like how are things, how is life. End your email with phrases like write soon, hope to hear from you soon, see you soon, all the best, bye for now, and then your name. Here is an example. Write an email to your friend Tamir about an unusual animal. أول حاجة هنقول from اسمي أنا أمير مثلا to اسمه هو تامر Subject العنوان Unusual Animals Dear Tamer Thanks for your email يبقى احنا كده فهمنا ان هو بيرد على الايميل بتاعه لو حد بيرد على ايميل حد يبقى يمكن نقول في الاول Thanks for your email How are things? It was really interesting to hear about the sports you like I love basketball And I play on a team once a week This week, we are talking a lot about unusual animals at school. We looked at animals from around the, from around the world and some from Egypt. My favorite unusual animal from Egypt is the dugong. Can you see the picture or the photo? I think it's got a lovely, friendly face and it's very cute. Its nickname is the sea cow. It spends many hours eating grass from the seabed every day. What about you? What's your favorite animal? Write back and let me know. Hope to hear from you soon. وآخر حاجة بيكتب اسمه أمير. Infographic. الصورة اللي احنا شايفينها دي صورة الانفوغرافيك. بيكون جواها ايه? Big headlines. Give important information. Give examples. Use pictures. You can also draw charts.